Tesla 4680 battery will be the end of solid-state battery. There have been some large developments in the sector of electric vehicles, and the core part of an EV, which is of course the battery, has also progressed really well in terms of development. Just a decade ago, it was impossible to think about getting more than 100 miles of range from an EV, and now there is a promise of EVs hitting the 400 mark, and all that courtesy of the battery technology development. Tesla shared the outcome of their work to build batteries better by introducing the 4680 batteries back in 2020, and as it appears, it will be giving some rivalry to the yet-to-come solid-state batteries. So why new Tesla batteries? The new 4680 Tesla batteries are such a huge news, but its solid-state batteries have been tipped as the killer app for unlocking the capability of electric cars for years and years, for more than a decade. The human race is still trapped with lithium-ion batteries, and it was being asserted that the lithium-ion batteries achieved their full potential. So many were anticipating to see the solid-state batteries that had quite some support from experts about its numbers. While researchers are knee-deep in work to materialize the dream of establishing the holy grail of EV, as the solid-state batteries are touted, it appears a little bit more time is necessary, but since the world is turning very conscious about our environment and starting to become eco-friendly and striving to utilize and survive on recycled products, the EV companies are operating to make sure to give it what the world desires. While Tesla simply wasn't ready to agree that we are building the lithium-ion batteries to work at their most, and that's exactly what they're going to perform with their new variation of the lithium-ion battery, the 4680. So if you want to know about the core of the solid-state batteries real quick, here is some research from Exxon and Duracell, which stems from 1978 and 1981. Naming the technology solid-state doesn't tell the real story. The reason the utility solid-state alludes to substituting the electrolyte, which in traditional lithium-ion is a liquid, with a solid. The reason to do this is to allow the use of a lithium metal anode that would substitute the graphite anode completely. A better name would be a lithium metal anode technology, which has a long 40-year history of greater technology and commercial challenges dating back to the conventional lithium ion. If this seems complicated, here's a less complicated explanation. The existing battery structure employs a liquid electrode to hold and release the electric energy. On the other hand, the solid state will utilize solid electrolyte. This makes the battery more compact, charge quickly, safer, and have more energy density than the conventional lithium ion batteries. As most of the researchers were and still are stating that rather than the gel or liquid electrolyte, the solid state employs a solid electrolyte, so the similar energy is delivered from less space. The pre-existing lithium-ion battery has a history of swelling due to temperature change, leakage because of external force, or catching fire. But due to the solid electrolyte, which causes a solid structure, it is literally safer, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, this is the reason many are asserting it will bring a new revolution to the world of EVs. Most of the world is still discussing how the future will be innovative with solid-state batteries like Volkswagen and Bill Gates collaborating with Quantum Scrapes, the company, which is notable for construction of solid-state batteries, but there are some individuals who aren't actually concurring with them. Like one ex-Tesla engineer, Gene Berdicheski, who even went that far by calling solid-state batteries false hope. He unveiled a white paper where he stated that solid-state batteries face many technical issues that would be very difficult to overcome. Apart from dendrite formation, their solid electrolytes would be susceptible to microcracking, for instance. There is also a problem with the investments recently being made. A battery factories recently constructed have a goal to manufacture lithium-ion batteries. Solid-state cells would most certainly necessitate different machinery and building techniques that would require more investments should they prove to work. Both authors assert that they would be glad to be wrong about these forecasts for the sake of the electric car innovation, but are they actually wrong? Musk concurs, we did say there were some who disapproved of the solid-state future, while Elon Musk is among one of them in 2021. The Tesla CEO remarked on how the battery research firm QuantumScape will find it an issue to attain its goals of equipping the bulk of electric vehicles with solid-state batteries in the impending future. We are still very far away from it. The thing to remember with production, for those who have never done production, just don't quite comprehend how insanely hard production is. I want to be very firm here. Prototypes are very important, 
They're child's play, but production is hard, like very hard. And the production at large scale with high reliability and lesser cost is insanely difficult. That's what he had to say about it. The brand new 4680 battery cell, which is established in concrete with its Gigafactory partner Panasonic, is notably beefier than the more well-known AA-style lithium-ion that Tesla's been employing successfully up to now. Compared to EV breakthroughs, though, they're much bigger. These new Tesla batteries are a quantum advancement offering around five times the energy storage at just half the price of Tesla's already industry-leading battery tech. To intrigue the EV enthusiasts even more, Tesla asserts that the 4680 cells will assist in enabling a 100-foot surge in battery production by the year 2030, courtesy of the new battery type cylindrical architecture. When you try to discern the benefits, it can say there are two. First, on-demand basis Tesla will almost only take advantage of the new 4680 cells or at least at first. The next one is more production related. The current Gigafactory infrastructure will be capable of switching to the new battery types more easily than the blade type manufacturers. In a world where inventory shortages and high consumer demand are causing prices to soar, those are very significant benefits. Not only that, the 4680 batteries will be turning the environment to being eco-friendly, and this is hitting the market quite hard for some time now. The worst thing about battery production is the environmental effect. Mining the cobalt and developing batteries is a dirty business, and this is exactly where the 4680 battery meets our demands. The good thing about the new 4680 batteries is they are environmentally friendly. Tesla wants to halt the usage of cobalt and turn the battery into being at least 90% recyclable. This indicates the 4680 battery will be having a benefit for the time being because solid-state batteries don't seem to be hitting the market soon. Keeping that in mind, the new 4680 Tesla batteries are going to be just enough to keep that trillion-dollar valuation becoming really high so when the solid-state batteries make it through, then we can make a side-by-side -side comparison with the official specs, which appears not going to be occurring quite soon. I hope you've learned now that why Elon Musk is so optimistic about 4680 batteries more than solid-state batteries.